one and all, thank you for joining us. Firstly, this week for all the series we've been offering here at Guiding Star Astrology with all the specials in face reading and horary astrology and so forth. And we've saved the best till last. Today we have <laughs> Jamila joining us for a very special session, a channeling session that she's going to offer us, which I'm so excited about. So welcome, Jamila. It is so hello. lovely to join with you. Yeah, hello, Ksenia, and hello, um, Guiding Star Astrology family, and um, Happy New Year to you all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's so lovely to see you again. For those who um, may not have heard the story, Jamila and I met, she was one of my astrology uh, clients, I suppose you'd call it, call you a client or friends is perhaps a better <laughs> word. Um, and um, at one point, Jamila um, offered me a, a Reiki, a distance Reiki session with her. And it was such a blessing and such a gift. And I was very moved by this session that we had together. And ever since then, we've corresponded and developed a really beautiful friendship wow. so um i just wanted to share how we came oh, to yeah. know one another it's been a beautiful journey mm -hmm. exactly so dear to my heart you know from uh clan to friends and that's um and and what we feel along the way is so deep and so real and i'm so grateful for that really as am I, as am I very much so. And you, um, you haven't been feeling that well lately. So I really appreciate <laughs> you joining us here. Um, are you doing all right? Um, right now, I'm much better, Ksenia. Thank you for asking, though. And uh, I'll make it quick because um, I want to give a, 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 the space for what we are going to focus today. But thank you. But I think um, what I'm going to share is worth sharing. So uh, this past month uh, almost i uh i've been suffering from quite a strong allergic reaction from the vaccination that i got mm. um the booster shot uh, perhaps i don't think i would love to mention which one i got um but uh what happened um was I, you know, I was fine from uh, the first two shots, which is like uh, the classic primitive type of vaccination that is uh, not accepted uh, worldwide, you know. But uh, then when I got like um, another step of the booster shot and um, I'm doing this, you know, um, because of I, I'm not into that. If, if uh, I may, but, you know, because of I'm, I live in Bangkok, the big city, and uh, for the sake of people around me, especially my old mom. So, but and anyway, I when I took the decision, I didn't get fear to come in, you know, just embrace. And because uh, at the end, I'm not against a vaccine, but, you know, um, if you want to do it or not doing it, um, I, what I concern is do you have the conscious choice you know and I, I feel like yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I'm conscious about that anyway because I've got some um autoimmune disorder it's not strong I've got my psoriasis mm -hmm. you know and about uh three weeks after I got my booster shot my psoriasis start to like mm, um growing and growing and at some point be in it it's Full glory. <laughs> no, no. I've, I've had psoriasis as a young woman myself, usually yeah. in my hair, but you had it everywhere. Oh, yeah. On, it's like this climb up from, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, I won't going to go into details. Mm. And then um, about two weeks later, I've got this dermatitis, like sort of eczema from head down to toes. Mm. Really, and yeah. it's like red and itchy. You perhaps can see still like some discoloration. But no, you look beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's like, um, thanks God, my, 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 uh, doctor and a naturopath that I'm seeing so that it might take me around three months and thanks God I feel like I'm uh, I healed um fast and perhaps it's with all the energy yeah. work that I've done I'm sure that yeah. would help but I think that's a yeah. really important message that you've just yeah. shared you know that the need to make a conscious choice and the need yeah. to have freedom of choice I mean many exactly. people that I know are not against vaccination yeah. um but 
but the freedom to choose is, exactly. is really what the the crux of the issue is and if we're being yeah. coerced um yeah. you know and and what you've experienced i think we mm -hmm. need to be extra careful if we are prone to certain conditions and issues exactly. and we're not being given that option to yeah. to decide based on our own health and well-being yeah. so yeah. i'm really i'm um, thank you for sharing about that oh, I think my it's pleasure. Story. yeah so if, if you have like um, some autoimmune disorder, please be like really, really, really careful and listen closer to your uh, heart and your body. Yes. Really. Yeah. Yep. Tune into your higher self. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now back to what we're doing here yeah. today on the video. You, you're actually offering a special in your planetary washes that you give mm -hmm. through the Guiding Star channel. Do you want to just give a little brief overview of what you what a planetary wash is for those who missed yeah. our last conversation? together oh yeah i'll be brief um because if you like you can go back to the uh video that we did last year right so planetary washes uh is the um, healing modality that's just get from uh the seraphs so uh the full name is like you know you can call it seraphic um planetary washes um is there um or the the solar tour of the the seraphic tour of the solar system planetary and for washes. those who don't um, know seraph yeah. uh, seraph is angelic realms for those yes, who don't know what yes, that is exactly so it's um their highest rank of the the um the angel and um the leader of um this um she she channeled um the gift from uh the seraph or the highest rank of, um, like angel and um drawing all the uh, positive attributes from um, the planets, all the planets, including the sun, you know, all elements in the solar system. Um, it's just only uh, the positive qualities of each uh, element, you know, so, and um, so, and, and I just, uh, the You're a channel person. Or yeah. You're a yeah, directing. I'm the person to just uh, draw this positive um, energy mm -hmm. in um, to my client. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so you're a, a, you're a conduit for directing. Uh, an mm -hmm. intensification of the positive oh. planetary energies into your yeah. clients who may need a little bit yes. more Mars energy or they might need a little bit more venus love or they might need you know exactly energy. yeah and i will discuss all the details so i i recommend you to go back to um especially toward the end of uh, the video that we i uh, explain in details of um what uh, each planet is uh, doing right. but you know the the use of uh, the planets i can go briefly here so um there are like a few ways that you can use this energy so you can use it as a like um energy healing session you know and um that will take you like it's pretty brief because it's pretty intense um, i mean strong yes. you know so the energy is channeled so um and um so and uh, uh, for example if you feel like you're um lack of like you feel low in energy and you um lack of confidence so perhaps you do the solar wash to give you that you know and um or another way of using is um if there is some challenging planet um, um kind of a planetary alignment like a, a square or you know like i think we can go more about that from your viewpoint mm -hmm. but i just want to have a quick explanation here that um like let's say if you have um we can have like a mercury to grade right and and mm -hmm. um to ease out uh, to ease out the uh, effect of mercury retrograde you can uh, have the mercury in wash yes, you know? yes. and for example and another way to use it is um we need you we need someone like you can, <laughs> yeah a professional astrologer if you um have your uh chart read by um professional astrology astrologer like Ksenia, and um you know um the you know the, the strength and the weakness. Point. yeah the strength and the weakness and you want to boost uh the weakness from the natal chart you can uh use this planetary wash too as a remedy as well fabulous. so fabulous yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's beautiful. I, I think it's very powerful that we can use it with the current energies as they unfold, as well as very personally too, um, with our, whatever we, our weaknesses are in the chart. And we tend to know what our weaknesses are. But you mentioned that um, you know you can use it for more confidence and things like that. So yeah. people, correct me if I'm wrong here, but people when they have a wash with you, then they're not going to necessarily notice some sort of physical healing or anything like that occur. They're going to notice perhaps a, a stronger sense of uh, well-being or energy in a certain area or, or something like yeah. that. It's more an internal feeling that they're going to embrace. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah. Um. Yes, um, there's more. Yeah, uh, it's absolutely right. You know, it's more like a internal feelings, but I have like a, some of my regular clients, you know, I have uh, one client who um, he knows that he needs like the solar energy. Mm. So he, he, he bought uh, like a package from me and he's just, you know, I, I really want to do only this solar yes. wash yes. and I don't want anything else for now, you know, and, and he, he, he can feel, you know, because he feel like he's lack of confidence and he needs uh, more vitality, etc. and leadership. And um, so, and, and he said that, yeah, I think that um, I'm ready for the next wash after this. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. And, and it also depends on the clients and how sensitive they are. And I have another client who is really, you know, she's, she's quite sensitive. Yes. And after the session, she she felt it right away. Mm -hmm. She felt it right away. And, and, and whatever I, I felt like sometimes, you know, like, you know, how the energy is working uh, kind of play into your body. And sometimes I feel, oh, the energy is just now just shine through the crown. And, and then it's go to the feet. And, and she kind of felt it's when when the energy uh it's directed to those moving. yeah yeah oh, fabulous yeah. yeah so um so you can feel it also in in the physical level yes fantastic mm -hmm. so you've been trained in this modality it's not something that everybody does and um mm -hmm. you know like you said the, the the woman who has channeled this information you've yeah, trained yeah. with her yeah. um so it's very, very powerful because, I mean, everything in the universe is energy, isn't it? Yeah, so to be able yeah. to work with those energies, I think, is a really beautiful, beautiful gift that you're offering. Yeah. And so you've got a discount running at the moment. Yes. And people can buy either a single wash or they can buy, you know, multiple. Um, and there's a discount already for multiple yeah. purchases. But when you apply this mm -hmm. discount on top of everything, was mm -hmm. it 20% that you're offering? Yeah, almost, yeah. you know, but um, yeah, kind of uh, about 20% off. So it's very special. And this deal uh, goes from um, Gregorian calendar New Year <laughs> to uh, astrological New Year, which is spring equinox in, in April. So right in April. And, yeah. that's right, that's yeah, right, yeah. around the 21st. So, uh, but, but it doesn't mean you have to finish uh, the, the use of everything within this period, you can mm -hmm. buy, you know, you can buy and you can, if you uh, buy um, your um, package or anything from during this time, you can keep it uh, for later. If you um, buy like nine uh, washes, which is all elements, you can, you know, use it according um, to- As the year uh, progresses. Yeah, yeah, exactly, as you progress and yeah. Well, I thought that was beautiful that you're offering from Gregorian <laughs> calendar year to, to astrological year. I thought that's a perfect kind of space of time there. Plenty of time for people to book in and get yeah. the good deal. Um, yeah. But do jump in before Jamila gets booked up. <laughs> and, and you've actually got something really special that you want to share with everybody today, Jamila. And I'm yeah. so excited about um, this. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, Ksenia, if you'd like to, to because I'm also curious. I know that you're doing the video. I just saw um, the notification <laughs> coming what? Um, about the, the, the transit of uh, 2022. But um, I am curious before I lead uh, everyone into meditation, can you uh, give me like briefly like some um, strong um, and perhaps I can share the, the right. one well, that goes with it. Well, the video that I uh, have recently just launched um, uh, yeah. that 
uh, as a part of this series this week where we're each offering something special for for the um, Guiding Star family. That video was about uh, what I consider to be the most influential um, astrological event of this year, which mm -hmm. will be the conjunction of Uranus with the north node of the moon, which only happens yeah. once uh, every 80, well, it's actually more than that. It's, um, mm. it only conjuncts with the north node uh, mm. once every, what are we, 168 oh. years. Um, mm. So it's a very rare conjunction with the yeah. north node um, and very volatile because the north node has Uranian energy already. It's oh, a lot, yeah, it, it functions like Uranus. It's very erratic. It's very um, unpredictable. Um, and it's very liberating to the north node, it can be. Uh, but then we also have the, the double whammy because Uranus is there. But particularly this year, Mars is conjunct as well. So Mars, Uranus, yes. and it's going to be pretty Ooh. hefty and full on. Ooh, um, yes. Hopefully it works in the positive because I don't yeah. like to even think about yeah. <laughs> how challenging it might be in the negative with yeah. Mars and Uranus. Because Mars and Uranus uh, as people who follow astrology will know tends to herald mm. big earth events Oof, like one. yes like volcanoes and earthquakes yeah, and all these yeah. sorts of things so that mm. in itself is always a bit, a bit of a hefty combo every two okay. years when mars and uranus connect mm. so with the north node involved as well it's going to be a very significant wow. so that's well, in early, imagine. Hmm, oh. that's in early august yeah. so i don't yeah. know if you want to yeah, really so yeah, well, that is perfect. I recommend you really to have uh, some Uranian washes and Martian washes yeah. <laughs> to, to help ease out our, you know, um, especially um, in in the your personal realm, right? And and um, and I know that um, what's going on out there, and perhaps what's going on to, uh, in their collective level will affect you less or kind of you, you perhaps you have more um, energy to, to be ready yes. with that. So I highly recommend, I'll, I'll do that for sure. Even though I'm doing like uh, all washes for myself, like on a regular basis, I will definitely focus um, perhaps, you know, a month ahead or something to Lovely. do like, make sure like that I'm doing Uranus and Mars Mm -hmm. for myself and i would highly recommend that uh you're doing this as well and perhaps you know some um add on some venusian wash that is like more like a motherly love like like calming soothing like stable help us to see like beauty in life yeah that's yeah. wonderful yeah because i guess if we are if we are vibrating at uh, in, in the case of this transit at a high Uranian level, then what's mm. going to happen during that transit is we're more likely yeah. to receive in our lives the positive expressions of this energy and everything yeah. has shadow and light in it. You know, we can it go to the dark, yucky, yucky yeah. side or we can go to the positive. Yeah. So we're more likely to receive in energetically the, the positive vibrations of that energy if we are vibrating at a high level. And that's essentially mm. what you're doing with the planetary washes is exactly. lifting our vibration to the more positive expression of even planets like mars which yeah. in ancient astrology mars was considered actually more malefic than saturn mm. back in babylonian times oh, so right yeah, know, but, uh, but, yeah but but actually you know when when we understand there's no such like a malefic benefic like period right because when something happens all, all uh, for me i believe that everything happens to contribute to our soul growth journey exactly right? but sometimes exactly. more challenging and uh, if you have this tool you know like seraphic uh, planetary wash it's healing to support why not right yeah yeah mm. perfect so some yeah. of the other things that are coming up this year yeah. um are actually happening this month in January. Now, you mentioned mm. earlier Mercury retrograde. That's coming yeah. up. That's a fairly regular occurrence. However, Mercury is going to be retrograding in a pretty potent area of the chart where Pluto is mm. residing and everything. Right, and yeah. Venus is retrograding. So mm -hmm. we'll feel that quite powerfully. Yeah. Also, people who have, um, like, if you have a prominent Virgo or a prominent mm. Gemini sign, like if it's right. like an angle, um, mm -hmm. then whatever angle that is ruling um, when Mercury retrogrades over Jupiter, that 
sorry, over Pluto, that's going to be quite um, profoundly transformative mm-hmm. for you. For example, like I'm Pisces rising. Mm-hmm. My seventh house is ruled by Mercury. It's seventh house mm-hmm. uh, is, is mm-hmm. uh, Virgo. And so yeah. I'm likely to experience some sort of transformation in some seventh house realm when right. Mercury retrogrades over Pluto. Um, so right. so yeah. that's just an example. That's another thing coming mm. up very soon with this retrograde yeah. period. So Mercury and Wash, you know, mm. will become very handy to help you to ease out all the bad Mercury retrograde, you know, so um, communication, delay, Yes. Um, yeah, so it's like, um, again, I, I have mentioned earlier in the previous video that uh, this modality is not a magic wand that is just like what of all the, um, you know, um, energy that you, you, you don't want to invite in, but it will ease out, ease out. So, you know, kind of, yeah, all the delay, all the miscommunication, and especially is coming to um, Capricorn. So it might be with uh, authority and uh, all the work with the boss, with, uh, um, you know, so, and, and maybe like uh, Pluto, you know, because Pluto is there and, um, and Pluto helps ease out you know um all this kind of if you have to deal with authority and yeah. and also uh, by itself it is um help with a transformation and is a deep karmic cleansing uh planet um that, that uh, yeah so and hugely transformative and i think mm. when i think of pluto at the moment jamila i think that is what <laughs> that's what we're all going through is this Plutonian time where we are being transformed from Mm -hmm. one way of being to another way of being. And just in the underworld experience, we will be birthed out. So it's very valuable, but not easy to go through. I think. No, 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 it's not easy. So, so you have to have like, you know, um, apart from this, you know, um, um, as a holistic health practitioner, I really recommend you to have, uh, tools if you don't have one as yet but I believe that uh, those who are watching us you know um, are already more or less into holistic health course, so yes, you yes. know like meditation yoga qigong or walk in the nature walk back feet wherever you are you know so it's just like uh, doing this kind of thing to help you ground it and and gain the strength to help you going through this uh, rough time really yes mm-hmm. beautiful I love yeah. it Mm. Um, did you want me to mention some other things that are unfolding? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, perhaps Ju- Jupiter is some good news, right? Yes. Because we are all right. about Jupiter and, uh, and that's maybe like some uplifting energy. Well, right? that's one of the yeah. most beautiful components, I think, yeah. of this year, because all this year Jupiter is going to be in good signs. Jupiter does well in water and fire signs. So for the first yeah. half of this year, Jupiter's in his own sign. This is until May um, in Pisces. And I, I don't know about you, but as soon as he moved in I noticed oh my goodness this event that event so all these things happening in the world that were shifting the energy instantaneously so hallelujah we've got Jupiter in his strength yeah, again rather yeah. than being in an enemy sign yeah. um yeah. and then in the latter half of the year he's going to be in Aries which is an air uh, sorry a fire sign where he's strong yeah. so we've got some good stuff coming up this year with the Jupiter yeah. placements um, and I think that's a real breath of relief. But also Uranus is about to turn direct this month as well. That's going to be right, very yeah. helpful. Very, mm-hmm. very helpful. Um, the Venus rebirthing, mm-hmm. we're starting a brand new 18-month mm-hmm. cycle of Venus. This is so special uh, right now because um, we've been through, I mean, look at the last 18 months. That cycle of Venus wasn't so flash. That time we started something new and something a lot better. So bring it. Here comes yeah. Venus. And that that mm-hmm. happens um, well, actually, the cycle begins. Hang on, I've got my calendar in front of me on the 9th. So, only a couple of days away from when yeah. we're doing this. Mm. Um, and so, bring it. We're all ready for a new cycle of, of oh. love and financial, yeah. um, well, hopefully, financial rewards for us all. <laughs> that would be nice. 
I can't wait, you know, and I, I can't be happy, any happier, Ksenia, because I have my moon and my north node in conjunction, my natal chart in Pisces, and yeah. I am Aries rising. So. <gasps> good times, good times. I wish you were close oh. enough. I'd high five you because <laughs> it sounds great. It's been, it's been quite challenging for, for, for the air and fire sign okay. um, this uh, past few years, so I can't wait for, for this to happen. And, you know, I got goosebumps still, but yes. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm just glad that the energy is shifting. And that is one of the most beautiful things I find, mm -hmm. Jamila, about astrology is that nothing stays the same. You know, we are never stuck. You know, we just have to be a bit patient sometimes <laughs> and a bit exactly, accepting. Exactly. Accepting exactly. of what uh, is. Yeah. And, and, and many, many times a big gift in life comes with the hardest lesson, right? Mm -hmm yeah mm, so yeah so you uh, wanted to yeah, um, do something so, special for us all you, yeah, yes, so, to you. Uh, new year's gift um the gift for um guiding star astrology members and and for those who are listening to this this is a um channels meditation um that i have for you is is uh not part of the seraphic planetary washes healings but it's something that i um channeled according to uh, the work that i've been doing with all the uh planets and uh, all elements in our solar system okay so here it is for you so i invite you to find a comfortable seated position whether you sit cross-legged or just sit on the chair but make sure that you have your spine straight okay and whenever you're ready please close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out breathe and connect with your higher self through your heart breathe and connect with your soul through your heart connect all your energy by breathing in and out through your heart. And slowly move your energy, your focus down to the base of the spine and your sits bones, your feet. And start to create the root Visualize that you are growing the roots from your sits bones and your base of the spine and feel the roots go growing, going deeper and deeper into the earth. We are here. We are here on earth. Here's the first element that we is necessary for us to establish the deep connection with. So growing root, especially with your exhalation. Take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, feel your roots growing deeper and deeper until you find the heart of Mother Earth beneath you. You can visualize perhaps her heart as beautiful rose quartz crystal or red love heart anything that comes to your mind that makes you know this is the heart of mother earth so you inhale deeply and draw loving supportive protective energy from mother earth up to the root and up to your heart and exhale allow this energy to shine all over you and exhale, going back to the heart of Mother Earth. And inhale. Draw the loving, supportive, unconditional love energy from Mother Earth into you. And exhale, shine this energy out all through your being. And inhale deeply another round. Draw this energy. This groundedness 
the strong support, strong earth support. So draw this to come to your heart and this time breathe up to the crown. Right now, from the crown, you breathe, start to grow. It's like if you are a big tree, you grow the tree top beyond the crown and reach up the sky and beyond. From the root, you start to grow with each inhalation. Up, 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 spread the branch and the, tea, uh, the tree top just grow higher and higher into the sky. Your trees start to grow taller and taller and taller until its ends you reach the cosmos up there. And we are now entering our solar system. Just meet with the sun, our sun. The life bearers, the life givers. Just connect with his energy, this mighty light from the sun. Start to shine through you, through the crown, to the tree top, and flow into you as you feel this light that comes and gives you the vitality, the confidence, the light shine to your heart and to your solar plexus, giving you lots and lots of energy and power and vitality and help boosting your confidence. As the sun keeps shining the light on you, we are moving to greet with Mercury, the small, fast moving planet in our solar system. So you can feel Mercury is smiling at you because he's a trickster and he's loving fun and you're smiling back at Mercury as he's having a gift for you. Mercury is giving you this light that will help support you. His light is shining through your hands and up to your throat. He helps you with the smooth communication. Feel his energy flowing into your throat. Help you with smooth communication, smooth expression, whether it be through your mouth, through your hands, through writing, through drawing, through any creative expression. Feel his energy bestowing now upon you. As the Mercury energy is still shining on you, we are moving now to Venus, beautiful Venus, shining her glittering golden and bluish light to us. And give us this soft and gentle energy, this loving energy. And give us the beauty, help us to see beauty in life. And even to shine this light, it gives us extra glow on our skin and help us to have cooperation and smooth relationship. Mm, she's giving us this kind of cloak, if you like, to cover all over you. 
embrace you with all this beautiful energy as she's still giving her gift to us we are now moving to the active mars so feel mars within you especially in your solar plexus and in your root chakra and your feet and your legs feel his energy there because mars giving us a lot of fast a lot of vitality and a lot of um motivation to finish whatever we are starting off to give us this feeling of assertiveness to boost us with his strong energy decisiveness and to help you to pick a good fight Mars giving us this armor around us as he's still working for us. We are moving next to Jupiter, the big lord of Jupiter, he's giving us abundance this shining through he's giving us the non-stop flow of prosperity of wealth of abundance abundance in love abundance in materialistic and wealth abundance in well-being abundance in time, all form of abundance and luck. And Jupiter is working for us like all over our being. He's like flowing. Just feel this warmth, golden light of Jupiter just like shining all over you. Such a nice and warm feeling. Mm. As Jupiter's keep working on us, we are working, moving towards Saturn. The Saturn is giving us this kind fatherly energy and help us to set our structure give us some discipline, give us a lot of sense of groundedness. He's shining through our feet, our legs, our root chakra, and he's shining through our teeth, our bones, our skin, our muscles, our structure. Give us strength in our physical body, while he's giving us this foundation in life. So whatever we're doing, which step, whichever steps we are making in life, he's making sure that we are moving from the firm ground. Just take this energy from Saturn in. As he's still working for us, we are moving to Uranus, <laughs> the fast changing Uranus. He can give us such an incredible creativity to help us to think out of the box, to so feel his energy shine through the crown. Uranus. He's known as a God's mind and God's will. So bring this energy into us. Feel the energy of God's will shining through. He promotes a quick change that sometimes we need in life. 
He helps also to realign our neurons and help with all the concern, our brain, our head, as well as our thinking system. So feel the Uranian energy shine through the ground as Uranian energy continues to work for us. We are moving to a more mellow Neptune. Feel the Neptune energy at your third eye as Neptune bring us to connect with our higher self and give us this knowledge of the higher realm, of the unknown, of the mysticism, connect us more with our spiritual body to bring in all the spiritual knowledge and beyond, as well as help us to appreciate art and the beauty in life in a higher way. So feel this Neptune energy flowing in through the third eye. As Neptune keeps working for us, we are moving to the last element, Pluto, the smallest one, hence the most powerful one. Pluto, just feel Plutonian energy coming through the crown and the third eye and his energy coming pretty sharp like a beam of light, very focused, a bit pointy, but energy coming softly through the crown and the third eye. Help us to go to the period of transformation. Help us to have this perseverance to go through what we have to go through and help us to have a deep karmic cleansing and anything to do with the chronic disease that you and I, we might have. So draw this Plutonian energy in. As we are now complete this circle, so start to give thank to each planet. Start to let go of the Plutonian energy. Give thanks to Pluto, smile Pluto, and then see the Pluto. Um, and his energy is waving bye-bye and come to Neptune, smile, we give thanks to Neptune as we nod and say bye-bye to Neptune and then comes Uranus with his big smile, we say bye-bye to Uranus and Neptune, more mellow, like um, this Neptune, Neptune in light is very nice, gentle and so strong. We give thanks and we say bye-bye to Neptune as we are doing the same thing with Jupiter. We give big thanks to Jupiter for blessing us with such an abundance um, we say and we give thanks to Saturn. Say bye bye to Saturn, and then we come to say bye bye to Venus, to Mars, to Mercury, and we give big thanks and big gratitude to the Sun who is working for us like all this time to make things possible on earth. And before we get out of this meditation, I would love you to feel this 
harmony. Imagine that we are here on earth as we are slowly getting back to the here and now on earth. Just feeling that our earth is made possible not only from only from the sun energy, but from the whole solar system. Think about this gravity, all the force that all the planets and the sun help us to keep this order, not more, not less, to keep the whole solar system moving second by second, minute by minute, hours by hours, day by day, month by month and year by year and so on and so on and <laughs> lifetime after lifetime if I may say. So can you feel this harmonic energy, this harmonious energy within us as a citizen of the earth as well as the citizen of the solar system and the system and the citizen of the galactic because from our solar system there's another solar system another universe infinite multiverses and we are part of this co-creation. So take a few deep breaths into your heart as you bring all your energy back down to the earth. Feel your energy once again on your cis bones and your feet. Take another deep breath in. Put a big smile on your face as you breathe out. Send thanks to your body as part of the whole system and smile. Put a big smile on, a smile on your face smiling to the whole part of your body that is part of all this bigger system and whenever you're ready slowly open your eyes with this big smile on your face Wow, Jamila, that was magical. I feel so zen. <laughs> oh, I just, I think I know. I know. If, if it's hard to talk um, more right now, you know, I think we can um, wrap up the session and um, I just recommend all of us drink big glasses of water so that to help um, the energy to flow, I can feel that we are taking in a lot of energy. Beautiful, yeah beautiful yeah well we will do that and i think we will wrap up here with a big yeah. heart of gratitude to you as well for leading yeah. us through that very special meditation yeah. and what a wonderful way to start 2022 with you jamila yeah. thank you so much and um again you know this is um the meditation that i channel but if you want to work with her uh, the specific um energy of each planet you know, um, just feel free to reach out. And um, yeah, I'm so happy to be part of the um, Guiding Star Astrology family, really. I'm so grateful. And um, we're yeah, grateful we, to have yeah. you. Too. We're grateful <laughs> to have you too. So head to the link in yeah. the description below if you would like to yeah. book your personal session with Jamila. She would love to see you there. Yeah. And so profits will be. Um, special special offer right now not only for uh, from me but from uh, every one of practitioners from um this platform really 
Mm. Thank you, one and all. Have This is the final video in our series. Have a mm -hmm. glorious 2022. Be mm -hmm. blessed. And thank you, Jamila, for yeah. leading us to such a special place. Mm. Happy New Year to you all and have a magical and um, wonderful 2022, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.